Thank you, Mrs. Dodd, for your meaningful and kind introduction. And the same for Mr. Diocidis. Thank you so much for your introduction and for giving me the opportunity to speak to and with your students here at RCS. And Ms. Owens, once again, I thank you for being my dear friend. I'm here this afternoon to share my story with you. It is my childhood experiences during World War II in the concentration camps. I will tell you about our liberation and how we finally started our lives anew in our blessed United States of America. Mine is a story that Anne Frank might have told had she survived. And as most of you know, I think all of you know, Anne Frank was a young Jewish girl who died along with most of her family in a Nazi concentration camp during World War II. This is also a story that conveys a message of perseverance, determination, faith, and above all hope. After the presentation, I will be pleased to answer some of your questions. Life in the early 1930s in Germany was very much for my family as it is here for most of you today. Never did we think that the anti-Semitic incidents there would ever lead to very much. My father was in a successful shoe business in a small town. My parents, two year older brother and I, lived comfortably with my grandparents above the shoe store. Life for Jews was made increasingly more difficult. And in 1935, the Nuremberg Laws were formulated and enforced. 